Hey traders, how are we all? Um, actually, no, I'm not going to call you guys traders anymore. I'm going to call you investors because we are now in 2018. Uh, not only going to be doing Forex, uh, I will cover uh, cryptos as well, the more familiar I become with it. And I will start to share more knowledge about stocks in particular and other forms of investments like managed funds and the like. So you guys are now all going to be investors, right? So hey, investors, how are we all? Now, um, since that last video that I've put up in regards to Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies in general, there's been a tremendous number of, of response. So uh, messages I've received just above I think about 300 emails just on reg in regards to cryptos and my apologies to you guys that I haven't been able to respond because I'm still on holidays until about the 16th so um, I've skimmed through some of them but I haven't been able to respond to I think there's only about a dozen that I've replied to so far so the thing is I will get to you guys if I can but there is a theme that's coming through in the in the uh, messages in particular I want to address that quickly First of all, those of you that have been sending in advice, thank you so much. So I really encourage those of you that are really familiar with cryptocurrencies, the technology, um, any calculations that you guys do, what you look out for, please do reach out, share that with me. And uh, if it's valuable information, I will share it with the community overall. Now, one of the key things um, that I think some of you, those that have sent in questions are struggling with, is um, valuation. So uh, some of you are looking at some of the cheaper coins that are there and then just kind of jumping straight into them without um, discerning as to what the viability of that uh, that um, technology, that coin, that token actually is. First things first, in the last video I mentioned doing your due diligence in regards to fundamentals. So reading the white paper, getting to know uh, more about who the head or the face of that project is, the development team, where are they located, and uh, quite importantly as well, uh, what's the solution uh, that they're looking to provide? So is there a real-world problem that exists? And if it does exist, uh, read the white paper to see the manner in which they're providing the solution, and then use your own awareness to decide on whether something is or something isn't. Another piece of information that I'd like you to kind of become aware of is this, that for example, for those of us that have existed in the Western world, that we've got a certain way of seeing things or a certain way of doing things or understanding things, right? So if one of these projects here, any of these projects associated with any of these coins, if they come up with a manner in which they do something, right? I'll give you a quick example. Like, for example, Tron and their uh, crypto doggies project that they're coming up with. Now, we would look at something like that and say, well, it's a game, it's one of those electronic things that you would probably, an app or so, you, something along those lines that you download, um, and it'd be like a, a little emoji or something along those lines, right? For us, we'd be thinking, what the hell, why would people pay for that? Um, I certainly do at my age anyway. But then I'd look at my, my young nephews who you know, uh, teenagers in, and younger, um, they would eat up some of this crap. Um, and my apologies to those of you that like that. At the same time, when you're looking at different cultures like, um, you know, going to China or South Korea, for example, um, these things would be extremely popular. Japan is another one. So we've got to be able to look at some of these projects with a complete open mind so that you know that, look, this is for such and such. Uh, as a consumer, not for myself. And when you're investing, you're not investing in products and services that only you will take up. You're really investing because you've got to understand who the target market for some of these projects are. And doesn't matter if you fall into that target market or not, look to see how big the target market is, is if, if that is going to be a real world solution. Now, I asked a friend of mine, uh, we were having a discussion, um, and I said to him, you know when you go back in the day, like say for instance in um, uh, the, the early 2000s, right? And you thought about a service like uh, YouTube or a service like uh, Facebook. Would you believe, or, or Snapchat for example, that's got a valuation of about 33 billion. Would you have believed back then that something like, you know, something simple like Facebook 
could be so popular today and the company be so wealthy. So in the, in the same way, or, or even look at fidget spinners, how that craze came and to some degree went, um, but it's how quickly something like that can catch on. So look at these projects with a complete open mind and to try and understand on some level, and, and this only applies if whatever they're trying to do doesn't kind of fall into the scope of wherever you exist in the world, okay? So that just keep that in mind. Now, the main aim of this video was to di discuss the correlation between uh, unit prices here, um, the number of coins, and also market capitalization. So it's extremely important for you to understand that these prices in some way or shape or form have a large degree of correlation with these two columns here, right? So basically, let me take a nice round figure. Okay, we've got we've got Neo or Qtum. Let's take um, let's take uh, Qtum um, for example. It's got a hundred million coins, right? Right now, its value is at fifty three dollars per token per coin. Now, in order for Qtum to have reached one dollar, right? What you want to see here in this column, in the market capitalization column is an amount that is the same or very close to this, which would be 100 million. So, and then for it to get to $2, yes, market capitalization has to be 200 million. To get to $10, it would have to be a billion, right? So in this case, notice how it's sitting at market cap of 5.37 billion, right? There's 100 million coins, remember? So what this effectively means is, that right now, um, the market capitalization of Qtum overall is about 53 times that of the number of, of uh, coins available for Qtum overall, right? So if we then go and look at this here, notice how 53 times 100 million will get you this figure, right? It's not exact. There are going to be times when this might be 52 and this will still say 5.37 billion. Or there'll be some discrepancies in figures. But generally speaking, what you're looking for is an understanding that if you were looking at coins like, for example, okay, let's, let's take Tron for example here. There's 65 billion coins available at this moment. Forget about any coin burn or anything that's going to happen in the future. But today, on the 10th of January at 5.30 p.m., we've got 65 billion coins that's shown here that, that Tron has overall, right? Forget about the lockups and stuff like that. So in order for Tron to get to a dollar, you would need market capitalization here to read very close to about $65 billion, billion right? And so if someone wants to say, um, yep, I'm going to buy this and this is going to get to $10 very quickly or $10 in the next three years. What that actually means is that in order for this to show you an amount of $10 there, this here would have to, or this here would have to be 10 times this value here. So we're looking at the requirement that the market capitalization of Tron would have to be 650 billion in order to get to that ten dollar amount right so when you guys are looking for um, something to invest in now if it's a project that fundamentally is very strong certainly go ahead and invest but if it's something where you're looking to kind of speculate and um, double your money or triple your money or increase your dollar value investment wise uh, quickly then what you're going to look for is coins that actually have a low supply, right? That has to some degree decent fundamentals and that initially has got a lower market cap. So what that's going to give you is a lower amount here, which by way you can invest more money into and eventually with combination of good fundamentals, when the price goes up, then what you'd end up getting is a nice uh, return multifold. That's very, very important. So keep this in mind. Look at the number of coins available. Look at market capitalization. And then that's going to give you, to some degree, an idea of what the coins are. 
Yes, to a large extent, many of these coins that you see probably don't have working products yet. Um, and that's this where this, this idea of a bubble is going to eventually come from. Um, I think in regards to cryptos right now, the overall market cap, I think we're sitting at about 600 something billion right now because it's fallen slightly. Um, it will most likely get into the few trillions, in my opinion, probably at least above one trillion, one or two or more before there is some sort of a correction. What would the correction be? Basically, it's this. Remember when the internet came out and you had websites going up and there was ridiculous amounts of valuation happening with them? It's going to be something similar. Right now, we've got, I think, about 1,300 altcoins all up. Um, and most of them are rubbish. Um, but the thing is that because of the hype behind them, that it actually creates this inflated valuation for all of them. Um, and when you're looking at this, like this is the amount of actually fiat money that is invested in all of them. So NEO, the NEO project has $6.02 billion invested within it. Okay, so there's gonna be some degree of correction that's gonna happen down the track, okay? Um, so please understand this, uh, make wiser decisions. In the next video I'm going to make straight after this one here is going to be about a free group which you can very quickly join and be a part of uh, pumps that happen. Basically what it is, is going to be is where there's a group um, that's come through that I've, um, you know, one of you have advised me about. Um, so I'm going to create a quick video about it to show you what that actually is. It's a free group, basically, it's got a few thousand members in there right now. And what they do is they coordinate pumps of various um, probably cheaper cryptocurrencies. And the whole point of it is that when you're kind of coordinating that move, you're buying together, it's going to create a significant amount of volume. It's going to push price up. So if you buy for a certain amount, um, you get a, a good return very quickly, probably. I think it's usually about an hour's time worth. Um, and then pump it, dump it, um, and that's how you probably increase um, how much money you've got in cryptos, okay? So um, next video in regards to that.